Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice, interesting functional equations? We have f of root t plus 1 equals t squared plus t. And what is f of root t minus 1? This is what we are interested to find. And before solving this, if you have any idea of solving this functional equation problem, you can just drop it in the comment box. So let's solve this question step by step. If I consider the solution first, from the given questions, we have a domain which is root t plus 1. Let's understand this, the domain values for root t plus 1 because every t here are members of real number. There is a restriction for complex number, that is why we have to define this domain very well. If I let t equals 0, so this is still valid, and if I let t equals 1, it's still valid. What if I let t equals, equals minus 1? You know, we are going to have the square root of minus 1 plus 1, so that is square root of 0, and this is still valid. If I let t to be equals minus 2. So this is where the problem falls because minus 2 plus 1 that gives us square root of minus 1 and this is not a member of real number because square root of minus 1 is giving us i which is a complex number. So to cut the uh, the story short the t here they are member of real number and uh, the value of it uh, t greater than or equals minus 1. So t can be equals minus 1 and it can also be any number greater than minus 1 like 0, 1 and all the positive number above. Now to now get f of root t minus 1, so what we do here is, the first thing is we are going to let the square root of the let the square root of t plus 1 equals another letter. Suppose I choose letter x. This implies that t plus 1 equals x squared, where we take the square root of both sides. And t here also equals x squared minus 1. We are going to substitute this back into the given functions. But Immediately, we let square root of t plus 1 equals x. The new function becomes f of x equals t squared plus t. And here, we are to make everything in terms of x. So here we have t. We have already let t to be equals x squared minus 1. And by replacing it at this point, we have f of x equals, instead of t here, we are going to replace it with x squared minus 1, then all raised to the power of 2, plus also we have t here as x squared minus 1. What should come to the mind first is we are going to expand x squared minus 1? No. So we are going to leave it as it is because we can factor out x squared minus 1 here and make the thing simple. So for expansions. We have f of x equals, if I take out x squared minus 1 here, in the bracket we have x squared minus 1, because this is twice. And we have x squared minus 1, since I've taken out x squared minus 1, here it means plus 1. And again, we have f of x equals x squared minus 1, multiply by plus 1 minus 1, eliminate each other. And here we have only x squared. So still yet, I'm not going to expand this, because when we expand this, we have x squared times x squared, that is x raised to the power of 4, and minus 1 times x, that is minus x squared. I'm not interested in expanding this. What I will do again is, I want to get f of t. So therefore, I'm replacing this every single x with t. 
as we are going to have f of t equals t squared minus 1, then multiply by t squared. So at this point, we have gotten f of t. We need to know what is f of the square root of t minus 1. So let's try and do that. If this is what we have for f of t, then let's try and replace this t with the square root of t minus 1. Both of them are members of real number. Here we are going to have f of, instead of t, we change it to the square root of t minus 1. And every single place we see t, we are going to change it to square root of t minus 1. And this equals... The first one having t squared, that is square root of t minus 1, all raised to the power of 2. Then here is minus 1 with it, all in bracket, and it multiplies t squared, and that t squared is also the square root of t minus 1, all raised to the power of 2. After obtaining this, we have f of root t minus 1 equals here we have square root of t minus 1 squared, which square and square root cancelled, as we have only t minus 1. Then we have another minus 1 in the bracket. All this in bracket multiplied by this square and square root also cancelled, and we have only t minus 1. On getting this, we have f of the square root of t minus 1 equals t minus 1 minus 1, that is minus 2. Then multiply by t minus 1. So this is what we have. We have something like two factors of a particular quadratic. But let's try and uh, expand this out. When we expand this out, we are going to use t to multiply t minus 1. Or we use t to multiply t minus 2. Any of the two, we get the same answer. So if I take out t, I will put t minus 1 in this bracket. Then also I will take minus 2 and put t minus 1 in the bracket. So I'm showing this step by step. When we multiply t by t, that is t raised to the power of 2 minus, this is plus, this is minus. We get minus. Then t times minus 1, that is minus t. And also we repeat the same process for minus 2t. Then minus 2 times minus 1, that is plus 2. Here we are going to have t squared, then minus t minus t, that is minus 3t plus 2. This is the value for f of square root of t minus 1. But what of the domain of this is still also simple. Since we have f of root t minus 1, the domain of this is going to be every value of t is greater than or equals 1. Here is the domain for this second function. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.